Hello everybody, this is Abhijit Adhikari, Technical in Church Reverse Animation and Compositing Academy. In this tutorial, I will try to show you how we can model this type of designer car wheel. I am dividing this tutorial in two parts. In first part, I will show you how we can model this car rim. And in second part, I will show you how we can model this part, radial part of this uh, car wheel. I am using 3ds Max 2012 and I shall use all the basic primitives and option from 3ds max to model that type of car wheel so first of all i need to create one standard primitives that is tube in my front viewport and thereafter i need to modify that particular tube for this tube i am using radius 100 radius 2 i am using 95 that will give you that much thickness in this tube okay now I need to adjust the height of this tube around 40 I need to use uh, height segment is okay with 5 and I need to adjust the side I am using 90 in that case uh, hide the grid now this is a very basic model of tube right I, now I need to convert this model into editable poly. Under editable poly, we have vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element. Now I need to select vertex from top viewport. I am selecting this area of vertex. I am using rotate tool, and I need to select active soft selection and need to set the value around 45. Now if I rotate this like this around 11 then that will give you this curvature in segments that will help you to model mm, to create that type of rotation right so now we need to use scale tool from top viewport from front viewport i need to scale it that much then need to decrease this value of fall off to 35 again scale it down that will give you that much curvature I am using 25 now and scale it down again ok now I am using 15 again scale it down ok now I am using move tool from top before deselect use soft selection and move this part like this ok that will give you this roundness and that will give you the very basic model of car rim if we hit render we will get this shape but there is no thickness right now I need to create thickness over here how we can create thickness in that part I need to select edge mode I need to select this edge I need to hit on loop that will give you the selection of this loop and now I right, hit right click and convert to vertex now I need to use scale tool and scale it up to adjust the position. Now I need to use move tool from top viewport. Now I get can create that much depth. This is depth area, right? Now if we hit render again, we definitely get some depth in this area, right? So now the basic model of car rim is ready. Now the thing is that we need to create this extrude and we leave, need to leave this area there will be definitely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 division so access polygon mode and select this polygon this polygon this and this okay now we need to leave eight segments one two three four five six seven eight again select this set of polygon one two three four five six seven eight Now I am done with my selection. Now I can use extrude. I am 
I'm using extrude option in that case for the first set of extrude I need that much value that is good enough okay mm, apply it from top viewport I need to adjust the depth as per requirement now from front viewport I need to rotate it little bit now again hit on extrude and adjust the value accordingly okay apply it and from top viewport use move tool and adjust the depth okay from front viewport rotate it again okay now again hit on extrude and that time you need to extrude that much only apply it and from top viewport adjust the depth accordingly when you are modeling this type of complicated props or object it will be better if you save different version of your model throughout the process create a folder as per your requirement and save different version of model like this like this okay that will help you to access the previous version of your file if you made any mistake so now we need to apply some basic material on that object okay now we need to save the file now the basic shape of car rim is ready when you are done with your this basic shape of model now you can proceed with the next part now select polygon mode and delete this selected polygon and we need to delete more polygon from this object to attach both of them in that manner we need to delete this set of polygons from each and every extrude pair of extrude okay now in vertex mode I can join them in that manner target well this is good You need to be careful when you are doing that type of weld. Better if you access from this part. that will give you this shape in that way you have to delete again you have to delete this set of polygon from this two pair and again you have to access vertex mode and again you have to weld them You need to delete that polygon also. Vertex more target will.
this two set we already marked and we need to mark all of them now when you are done with your vertex marks you will get the basic model design model of the car rim now we can apply turbo smooth one sorry turbo smooth one and we can increase the iteration value to 2 or 3 according to our requirement it will give you that much design shape of your car rim now we can proceed with our next part delete the turbo smooth and now we do need to create need to fill this area now how we can fill this area access polygon mode and delete this polygon and the adjacent polygon from this part now select border select this border and select that border also now hit on bridge but don't use that much segment we need only one that is good enough hit ok in that way you have to bridge create bridge between these two also again select polygon mode select this polygon and that polygon delete use border select this border and this border again hit on bridge ok when you are done with that type of bridge and march then select the polygon mode and delete this part of polygon from your model and now select border and select this border and hit on cap and select this part right click cap now select this polygon inset and this is the value of it plus that will give you this output now you are, if we apply turbo smooth and set the value to 3 then we will get definitely get this model basic model of car rim now we need to create the designer part of this area delete turbo smooth now we need to create one text over here or logo sort of thing I am using text you can type anything over here ok as I am getting H as good over here that is why I am using H and extrude that text according to your requirement and position it properly no need to increase the segment it will increase the size and it will consume more render time that will that's why segment 1 is good enough now now i need to create one cylinder to get that uh, depth over here to get the shape over here i'm using radius around 14 and height around 0.6 ok tight segment is required little bit higher to get the roundness of this cylinder that's why I am using 70 70 or more than 70 is good ok next we need to create one torus to get this design ok again we need to create another torus over here to get this design also now we can easily apply turbo smooth on main shape of car wheel now if we increase the value of iteration to 3 
then it will give you this designer car rim This is the first part of this modeling tutorial. In this tutorial, in next part of tutorial, I will show you how we can create this type of uh, radial for this car wheel. So, for right now, that much. Thanks for watching. We need your valuable feedback to improve the quality of tutorial and method of tutorials so please post your feedback your feedback will help us to improve all the upcoming tutorials thanks